Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about my personal morning prayer for divine favor. What I pray every morning over myself. Simple prayer. Doesn't take long, but it is so incredibly effective. Glory to God. Hey, say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Good things, great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because I get incredible results. Incredible results. There's another testimony being posted on Facebook today. Just incredible healing. Just a wonderful, wonderful woman hurt her foot. <clears throat> or her foot was hurt. Or started to hurt. I'm not sure what. But she got healed. Now, we see all kinds of miracles. I mean, everything from brain dead people brought back to life. People gasping for breath on their deathbeds brought back to life. But that woman's foot is every bit just as important to God. Every healing is important to God. And just incredible financial miracles that go on all the time. This is probably, I'm just going to tell you, the most effective prayer ministry in the country. And it's all free. And I'm always here. If you're a partner with this ministry, a prayer partner, I am always available to you. The only requirement I ask is don't call me before nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. And you have to watch the videos. 15 minutes a day. You to devote 15 minutes a day to increasing your faith. And you have access to me. Glory to God, huh? And believe me, I will know if you're not watching the videos, you can't fool me. I know if I talk to you for 10 seconds, I can tell if you've been watching the videos. How can I tell? I'll tell you how I can tell. Because I can sense a strong spirit in you. Because the videos feed your spirit. God's word feeds your spirit. Makes your spirit strong. Your spirit was meant to get its nourishment from God's word. And if your spirit isn't getting any nourishment, I can tell. Because it's weak. Huh? Hey, I want to show you this. Make sure you call me today if you need your prayers answered. And make real sure you call me when you do your offerings and your donations and your tithe to this ministry. Because I want to speak the blessing over your offering and your donation and especially your tithe. I want to speak God's word for word blessing that he gave us to speak. In Ephesians. Now, this has come out of my Bible because you can see I have spent some time in Ephesians and Galatians. It fell out. But I just love my Bible so much. And I've got it so marked up and all everything's underlined and red lighted and oh my goodness. And people have given me wonderful Bibles and I just can't stop using this one yet. And someday I will. Someday. Because, oh knows. But anyway, now this is the prayer I pray over myself every single day. And I start out in the morning. I say, Lord, thank you for this day. My prayer always starts with gratitude. Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you for the blessing. Then I pray. The same prayer that Paul prayed over the Ephesians. In Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. I pray that same prayer over myself. I change it around a little bit. 
but I still pray it over myself. And I add to it. I say that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give me the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. And the Lord give me revelation knowledge in the name of Jesus. And the Lord give me favor in the name of Jesus. And the Lord give me the power to get wealth in the name of Jesus. And the Lord give me the blessing of Abraham in the name of Jesus. I'll text that to you, word for word. That's what I pray over myself. Now, I've been praying that, or some form of it, for way over 20 years. And I'm telling you what, God started, the first thing that started happening to me was revelation knowledge. Incredible revelation knowledge that God started to open up his word to me. Then, then came wisdom. Wisdom. To, to several years later, a long time later. Then came the spirit of wisdom. Then came the blessing of Abraham. Along with favor and the power to get wealth. All that stuff started. When I, when I got the blessing, it's like favor and wisdom all started to come in at the same time. Because now my faith started to really grow. It started to really. Once I started to see some results. You know, what, we go through these praise reports. The reason I go through these praise reports so much with everybody. And I post them all on Facebook. On my regular Facebook page. And in my Facebook group. My Pastor Jim group. And while I'm talking about my Facebook page. I would like to just mention, please don't post videos on our Facebook group. That place is only for my videos. And people can post things and comments and stuff like that, but don't post long, uh, drawn-out posts and don't post videos, okay? That's, that's for, our, for our partners, and that's a place to feed people God's word. So please keep your your posts short on that page and no videos. I'm deleting videos that come on that page. But uh, so, but I'm posting praise reports on there. What I'm posting on, I'm, I use that group and there's over 700 people in that group now. And that is a group that everybody in that group sees our videos or has access to them. And this is a place for people to feed their spirit. To feed their spirit. And every, every every preacher out there has got their own Facebook page. And I don't post videos on their other people's uh, groups. Because most people, they won't, they don't allow it. Nobody does. Nobody allows that. So that's why we don't do that. Because I'm being I was being clogged up by videos, long videos, by people that I didn't even know. I have no idea what they're saying. So I had to start deleting those. So we're, we're going to keep that down. Okay? Is that all right with everybody? So anyway, uh, I pray this prayer every day. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, I'll go through it again. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, <clears throat> this is what Paul prayed over the Ephesians. Brother Hagen prayed a form of that over himself for two years. And then God started to give him a revelation of faith. The first thing God gave me was a revelation of righteousness. And righteousness is the basis for receiving everything we get from God. Because righteousness teaches us who we are in Christ. And it teaches us that we deserve to be blessed. You got to know that you got it coming. You got to know that God wants you to be blessed before anything will ever start happening for you. And that's what righteousness does. But you, you learn that, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give me revelation knowledge in the name of Jesus. I use the name of Jesus. 
that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give me the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom is a spirit that comes upon you. And I'm telling you what, it will teach you, it will, it, you will never make a major mistake if that spirit of wisdom is upon you. That's a fact. Not a major mistake. I will never, ever make another major mistake in my life. And I've had a couple opportunities to, but I didn't take the bait. Did not take the bait. I used to. I used to take the bait. I used to jump right in, hook, line, and say, not no more. Not no more, because I have the spirit of wisdom now and the spirit of God's favor. Whew. I'm telling you, when that comes over you, that is life-changing. That gives you preferential treatment every place you go and in everything you do. And it makes your life 100% easier. And the power to get wealth. The power to get wealth, that causes money to come to you instead of you chasing it. I don't chase money. Money chases me. God said in Deuteronomy 28 that the blessing will overtake you. That is the power. That's a force to get wealth because the blessing brings wealth. The blessing of the Lord, it causes wealth to come. Proverbs 10, 22. Causes you to become wealthy. Wisdom causes you to become wealthy. And favor will make you rich very quickly. It will cause people who can help you to notice you. You'd be amazed at how people who can help you will notice you when you have that spirit of favor. We've been talking about favor now for three or four weeks. And I am really doing that because I've been uh, imparting that spirit of favor and now I'm stirring it up. And I want you to pray about that every morning. Say, the Lord, Lord, give me the spirit of God's favor in the name of Jesus. And then start to confess that I have favor. I have favor in Jesus' name. We're going to talk about that too. Amen. Call me if you need prayers answered today. Please, I want to pray over you. I want to break the curse of the law in your life and speak God's blessing over you. God told the priest, this is how I want you to bless the people. And he gave it to us word for word. That is not my blessing that I speak over you when you call. That's God's word for word blessing. And he promised, he said, when you speak that over the people, I will bless them. I said, okay. So I do. And he does. I'll tell you, once that blessing is spoken over you, let me tell you something, folks. Isaac told us in Genesis chapter 27, yea, and he shall be blessed. Once that blessing is spoken over you, once wisdom is spoken over you, once favor is spoken over you, or the power to get wealth, I'm telling you what, once these things are spoken over you, they are on your life forever. And nobody can Ever separate you from it. Nobody can ever separate you from God's favor or God's wisdom or God's blessing. No matter what they do, no matter what they try to do, it's there. Now all you have to do is build your faith for it and stir it up. And I'm helping you do that. I'm helping you do that all the time. I stir people up. Let me tell you something, folks. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life, and I will use the power in the name of Jesus to help you do it. Oh, my goodness. There is so much power in that name. You stick with me. I am determined you're going to live an abundant, healthy life. You're sick? Call me. You're broke? Call me. You got, you got problems? Call me. I'm the problem solver. I'm telling you what, I solve problems, folks. I use the power in the name of Jesus. Share this video with everybody you know. Nobody needs to stay sick and broke as long as I'm here. Because I will use the power in the name of Jesus to change things.